Fuck it, I'm playing with that audio. Play with that audio, fuck it. Do it silently. Bollocks. Just play Virgil without noise. I can do it. A fair handicap. Not really, no. This audio cue is like what you desperately need for Devil May Cry. Uh, so, I guess just doing it silent. I don't need I don't need audio. If the option is either I have audio or you guys have audio. On PlayStation, I get that that's the option I have. On Xbox, I can do both. It's annoying as well because it means like judgment cuts and stuff are going to be absolute nightmare to try and pull off. Because judgment cuts are all 100% based on fucking um, uh, audio cues. So do not expect any judgment nut perfect ones. I say as I do one. So I have to go on visual cues instead, which are there. They're just not as immediately obvious as the uh, audio ones. We set headphones to the account using them, we set the guest account, but no. I'm not messing about with those settings. Like with Xbox, if I just plug it in, I get both. I'll just do it without. Virgil doesn't need audio, really. Come on. There we go. Is there a deaf person accessibility? It doesn't matter. It's the actual system itself uh, that is not letting me um, do both. If I plug in my headphones, I only get audio through my headphones. I don't have an option to do both. I appear to be able to get like two judgment cuts in a row. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get like three or four, which I think is the limit to help without uh, playing without audio. I'm not sure what settings would be. Oh, I do not attack to this guy. There's an option in devices to change your audio settings to TV and headphones. Okay. Let's have a look at that then. Uh, sound and devices. Volume control, output to headphones. Uh, where would I find that setting? Could you take off headphones list now? No, because if I take off headphones, I get one frame, um, one full second of sound delay. Which actually makes it harder to play, because it means I'm responding to stuff that's already happened. Um, same problem I have when I play um, uh, Smash Bros. An option in devices. So we can try that, I'm happy to try it, but um, where would that be? Uh, both TV and headphones. It's in the settings menu, so I have to go back to settings. So let's do that now. Settings, so it's in devices. Got it. Da, 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 da. Devices, audio devices, output. Here we go. Uh, output device. I get a choice. I, ca I can't pick both. Where, where is this setting spoken of? I get to choose. I can give you guys audio, 
or I can give myself audio. This is actually really fucking bad. That I can't do both. Like, what about if I've got a shit headphone and I just want to talk to a mate? So I can't get that surround sound. Uh, but no, unfortunately, I, I appreciate the hustle. Um, that's not happening for you guys. Uh, turn switch off automatically. That doesn't help. Uh, no, you guys need audio. Like, you're watching the playthrough. I don't need audio to play. Never had any problems with audio before. No, it's only just recently when my Elgato started shitting the bed. Um, but I get it. There's an official way of doing it. I mean, two control pulls you at once. Ah, fuck it. It's fine. Challenge run. Let's go. Do it without audio. Virgil don't need that shit. Really? Turn audio to zero. No, man, you guys need audio. It's just knowing that I won't be able to get the judgment cuts. I will practice my judgment cuts and everything for this stream. We're going to fight the bosses. Fight bosses without audio cues. Let's go. Let's go, Virgil. You know what, it's time. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. It's time. Ting. Just judgment no end. I win. How does Virgil feel to play? He's overpowered as fuck. He has four screen clears that destroy everything on screen that you can use one after the other. And one of them gives you full health back, so. As long as you're playing good with him, you will not die. It's, um, all of your screen clears are linked to your concentration gorge, but there's ways to cheese it to get it full. Just like stand near the enemy and you're fine. A playthrough of any game. Uh, the game is completely mute. It's, it's not too much, like, visual cues. I'll, I'll show them off in a sec. There's a lot of, like, visual cues you can use with Virgil. It's just, with a lot of character action games, audio cues do trumpets. They, let what, they are what let you know what the enemy is doing a lot of the time. Uh, very quiet game audio. Uh, there you go, I can turn that back up for you. Uh, so there are, like, um, some visual cues you can see. Uh, so Judgment Nut is, like, the backbone of Virgil's offense. And Judgment Nut is this. Uh, you just see this, like, wave of energy go out. That's Virgil cutting through space and time itself to hurt the enemy. Uh, you can do it after any single one of your strikes. Just hold triangle. That's all you do. Just hold triangle. And... 
Uh, what you could do is you could do a just judgment cut. So you'll see when I do it here, he takes a step back. Uh, that's the regular judgment cut. And if you charge up just the right way, and I don't know if we've got the timing right on this one. There we go. You don't take a step back. You'll see that he just immediately just does a judgment cut every now and again. Just instead of taking a step back, he'll do a very quick one. But I've not got a time around this initial strike, so I don't do it after this one. There it is. And the visual cue for almost all of these like judgment cut ends, or like the uh, the just frame judgment cut, is usually is when Virgil puts his sword back into the sheath, or um, when the strike reaches its end point. So with this one, uh, the like, the visual timing is when the strike gets right to the end and just before Virgil starts bringing it back. If you do it just then, uh, you can judgment cut after every single attack and there is a just frame judgment cut input or timing that is on every single strike. It's unique and different for every strike. So with, like I said, with this one, it is the moment you see Virgil start to swing the sheath back. Uh, you can do a just frame judgment cut. And the other thing is though, once you've done a judgment cut, you'll see if we can zoom in on Virgil. I'll try and go stand near the screen so you can see his sword. You'll see that he puts the sword back into its sheath again. And he does a very quick one. You'll see him put it back in. If you hold judgment cut while doing a judgment cut and then let release it when you see him put the sword back into the sheath again, you can do another judgment cut, which I'm not very good at. I will try and do at least once. There it is. And the thing is though, once you've done that one, while he's doing the second perfect judgment cut, you can charge another one. And another one, and then a fourth one. And the fourth one requires the most perfect timing of anything, I think it's one frame. And you can do it after every single strike. And I'm not very good at this, I do it on the, um, the voice line. Because you guys better hear the voice line Virgil says every time he does this. And it's the voice line that I use for um, uh, whether or not I should do a judgment cut. Because when you are being surrounded by enemies and doing like combos and stuff, I can hear judge his voice. And I normally have the sound settings where I have voice turned way up and music turned down. Purely so I can use Virgil's voice. Uh, well, there's a couple of ones you can see like attacks like this one. Uh, what's it now? Like, when he's fuzzy there. You do the back strike. Wait for him to go back in. And the moment he hits the sheath, you'll see that little... The shing. The little anime strike there. The... Ting! That's usually the time. But yeah. It's awkward and it's super fucking ridiculous. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he thinks he's so fucking tall. Let's kick his ass. Oh, I don't need audio. The thing is, I'm not even showing off like half of Virgil's moveset because his moveset's so good, I deliberately have to like weaken him. Because otherwise, every fight ends way too quick. Oh, I pose like a boss. Also, the thing that's most ridiculous about Virgil Judgment Cut is... Let's see if we can do it. Come on. You know you wanna. There we go. This is one of his taunts. You can just frame Judgment Cut off his taunt. <laughs> yeah. That's why this character is ridiculous. But um, I'll, I'll endeavour to do as good as I can. And I'll try and get some, uh, like some just frame ones in, but... I rely so heavily on those sound cues, folks, at home. Should be out here, there's that, there's that telltale clack when the sword goes back into the sheath. It's super fun. Oh, God, that stings.
There we go. And he's just so powerful. I mean, we've not even shown off like all the other stuff that like Virgil can do. This. His summon sword is the shape of four sets, yeah. Well, so is Mirage Blade. The trick dodge. The, the thing about Virgil is, you don't actually need to be locked on with him half the time, because his best move, this thing, can only be done when he's not um, locked on. So a lot of the time it makes sense not to be locked on to an enemy, and just walk around like a pro. Like, his most OP thing is that. It freezes every enemy in place, including bosses, and just gives you like four free hits. Insane. Well, the thing is, you're not even seeing the real insane stuff yet. There's like an entire extra level of depth to his moveset that I've not shown off because it's too good and it makes such quick work of these enemies. I set myself the self-imposed challenge of not utilizing that aspect of Virgil's moveset until I need it. Which is this one. So now I have a clone and all of my, my attacks are doubled, but the clone only fights with Yamato one of my three moves, but your clone can also do judgment cuts. And all of its timings are the same as Virgil's. And you, meaning technically you can do eight perfect judgment cuts in a row off every attack. With your clone. Oh, it's going to sting. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Ting. Yeah, Virgil's ridiculous. Yeah, what's Virgil's air taunt? Uh, he just throws three summon swords. Uh, which launch enemies up into the air. So, super good. Oh, hey. So here's why Virgil's stupid. Yes, I can freeze the enemy that um, has no like, ability. It's intangible, but Virgil can freeze it. What you got? Do you ever use the slow mode? For I always put the doppelganger to move at the exact same speed as me. I always make doppelganger move at the same speed as me just to double my um, uh, damage output. Except for when I'm like dicking around. We've not Super Virgil yet. No, I've not managed to beat Bloody Palace. Uh, the roadblock for me is Voltic Black Knight, because his moves set um, hard counters Virgil's. And just the slog of when I get all the way up to him, I usually can't concentrate. So you know what? Before I spite... Um... <clears throat> Look at me, he's so fucking cool. I'll make quick work of him, don't you worry folks at home, but first I need like a bopping song. Give me a bopping one. Come on. Where is it? Nope. Hopefully you folks at home can hear this nice and loud. There we go. Right. Um. Behemoth, um, swing away. I'm right here, mate. Oh, oh. Right, my turn.
If you want to see why Virgil's OP, let's combine all that stuff at once, shall we? Um, so let's summon my doppelganger, and let's also go Sin Devil Trigger. Now let's see how much damage I do. Also, what am I doing? Judgment, judgment Cut End. I win. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm also invincible. Sorry. I don't care. I am invincible. Virgil is unstoppable. What do you do? Also, I'm damaging with my taunt. Yeah, Virgil's unstoppable. Oh no, whatever will I do? So I just let him do that because, like, the fuck else has he got? What have you actually got? The second one. I like it. I appreciate that, Beamer. Yeah, go on. You eat it. Ooh. Okay. I win now. You had your fun. Pose like a boss. You gonna swing? So I got hit a few times for that shell off, but it's fine. Because Virgil, you get all your health back when you beat that guy. Have you seen Virgil's EX taunt? Yeah, yeah, it's the best taunt in the game. And we'll show that off in a sec. Whoa, let's get out of there. I love how you, when you do this, they make you fight just like regular enemies. Just give me a boss look, that's all I want. Alright, Virgil, let's go. Uh, a D&D &D group. Uh, we've, none of us have got time. We've all got jobs and lives, so... Virgil, that's one of the reasons I don't have music on when I play the game. I only have um, voice. Because you only ever hear like the opening 30 seconds to almost every track in the game. You know what? I hate this enemy type, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. That's why I hate this enemy type. With Virgil, it's like, oh yeah, don't get hit against enemies that do projectiles. You know what? I don't need this.
Like, they're not... Diff they just fire these random jets. I fucking hate them. What's the other one? I, they're so annoying! A huge, they are, they're a huge pain in the dick. I hate fighting them. Especially when there's a massive group. Eh, fuck it. Uh, can you just do that nuke move? No, you have to have um, full concentration meter, uh, which is the meter you'll see above Virgil's health bar. Uh, but you will essentially you have to have full concentration meter and um, full sin devil trigger. The problem with Virgil, not the problem, but the the, uh, the problem they didn't seem to anticipate is you can get full concentration by just standing near the enemy. It takes a while to learn, you have to unlearn playing as Dante, where there's a lot of times you're just like throwing out random hits. Uh, for example, now if I just stand near this enemy type, I don't run, just stand near him. Just physically stand near the enemy, you will get full concentration. And then Sin Devil Trigger, like Virgil earns Devil Trigger so fast. So you can do that for the problem. There's never really any reason to do that. Uh, because when you're in Sin Devil Trigger, you can do all three in a row. I just want this thing to die now. Yeah, when you've got full Sin Devil Trigger, you just stand near an enemy type. Then you can just do all three um, in a row. Which will basically kill most bosses. Oh no! Oh no, you didn't. Come on. Is this game easy? It's very easy with Virgil. Um, once you've learned um, the opera, like the way he plays, which is quite antithetical to the rest of the game design. Uh, Almost every fight is a cake war because he's just so powerful. Like with rare exceptions. Like if you get carried away or try and show off, you can very quickly get killed because he's so reliant on you doing well. Uh, but when you're doing well, you're rewarded by all your moves are stronger. You gonna get up? Oh, do it. The wee pose. Oh, Virgil's a wee. Look at him. 
legs? No. What do you do? <laughs> Virgil is fucking unstoppable. He's dancing on it. You can use it in a combo, yeah, because it does hit and you can um, judgment cut off it. Uh, but the number one thing, though, that you need to know about Virgil is that it's these, it is his most broken move, is this one. Because it freezes every enemy in place for a second and a half, including bosses. Every boss in the game. So if I get to Vaulted Black Knight, I'll try and show it off because you can, like, get some really good visual effects on the go that the game doesn't really expect you to see. Gonna, this is really gonna hurt. I want level three. There it is. You tell him, Virgil. Also, stages like this shouldn't be in the game. I don't want to go into like. If you're just gonna give me health back, because that's all these things are. Just give me health on the previous level and give me enemies to fight. These should get progressively harder every time. There shouldn't be easy ones thrown in. Uh, so I win. I don't want to fight these enemies. Also, yes, you can judgment cut on. Uh, judgment cut off your judgment cut end. Now. Why? Why do they let you do this three times in a row? And they still give you a little bit of Sin Devil Trigger at the end. And then just because fuck it. Do my other screen clearing attack. All four in a row. And yes, you can Judgment Cut off this as well. There you go. <laughs> so of course you can judgment cut of turning into V. Oh. So you can judgment cut off of a transformation move. So that was easy. Let's go back. I'm not sure if you can do multiple versions of the same uh, screen clear or nuke. I prefer to do all three in a row because it looks stupid. It's like, why do they give you the option to do that? Oh, walk menacingly towards him. Jojo, walk. Really? The only thing that's landed a hit. He's not even had a chance to land. I couldn't even spawn in. No. Have you decided if one of you will die first? Pose like a boss. Oh, Virgil studied the blade. Oh, look at him. Look at his fucking loser. Yeah. Look at him. I'm not making him do this. He's one of his taunts. Oh, also, all of these things do hit enemies. I, I believe that final strike is an instant kill. Oh, oh, and you can judge my cough if you want. 
I just wish he only had Yamato though. I want a version of Virgil that only uses that one. It's like the best weapon. No. You don't get to touch me. Nothing gives you that right. Let's do this. I'm in. Oh, God damn, I hate when they do that. Nope. That was like a boss. Help me, clone. Return to my side. Oh, what do you do when you see two of these things coming in? Ah. And you swear in Switch chat, yeah, but I wouldn't just do it over and over again. Like, you're more than welcome to swear, but if it's like, you know, for effect. See it. No. You don't get to hide. Next stage. What what are they possibly going to send? Like, what do they even have? That can do anything close to damage. I win. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, did you want to fight? Like, this is just torturous for this poor thing. Okay, do you want to die now? Whoa, look at him. He thinks he's so cool. He's so lame, and that's what makes him cool. Now you finish the most die mode in NGMC. Yeah, this one. Uh, this one, three and four. I didn't do it in uh, number one, because uh, I was a bit young and wasn't fully um, uh, sold on Don't May Cry yet. It was three that sold in the game. Uh, this is not the special edition, though, so I cannot do um, uh, Legendary Dark Knight mode. Which I think I beat on four, but only with Virgil. Because he has the screen clear. Now he was very that mode was very clearly designed with Virgil in mind, with how wide ranging Yamato is. Also, I don't like Dante in that game. I don't like his moveset. I don't like having access to three moves. I always run with four. Uh, two moves. Uh, so I have two melee weapons, two uh, projectiles. Which is why I'm really not a fan of. You'll notice I mostly stick to using Yamato as Virgil. And just switch to the other one when I have a chance. Or when I want to just use a specific move they have. So this is when I'm going to get in trouble. So this is when I could really do with like my sound. To hear what the fuck is going on. So I need to know when that thing's coming back out of the ground. Either way. Oh, that's going 
so don't leave me alone. I see it. So I wouldn't have liked to use Sin Devil Trigger this early, but... I really don't like doing that. Let's have some fun. So these things mostly just exist to give you health, and I don't like that. Just if you're gonna give me health, just give me health. Now they let you get like just full meat for everything. Constantly use judgment cuts. Judgment cuts are the way to win. And the Virgil best move. Like realistically, you can win every encounter by just doing Virgil best moves. But uh, that's not very fun. It's much more fun to like set yourself a self-imposed challenge of I will fight like Virgil would. Which is he will show off, but he doesn't want to let people know that he's showing off. <laughs> I like how I didn't lose anything for doing that. I lost like the tiniest bit of health. Show me that face. I know that's where your weak point is. Sin Devil Trigger. How long do I stream for normal? Eh, for a while. Let's be it's um, not much else to do this evening. I guess let's go beat Artemis. So this is another character where this was clearly not designed with Virgil in mind. So he fucking rinses this character. Because it tries to teleport away, but Virgil is just constantly just following it. It has no chance. Like, it teleports away, but you could be on its ass straight away. Like, just, oh, I'm here. Hello. Like, the whole point is that you're supposed to, like, work your way in to fight it, but you can just be next to it the entire time. Also, yes, yeah, so you can freeze it in midair so you can't get down. No, you don't get to run away. Like, he tries to go into the air. Like, no, you fight me on the ground. No. Really? No, lock onto the thing that's in the air. There we go.
sorry. I win. Uh, this was not designed. Well, of course, it wasn't designed with man. He was like put in after the fact. Like, a boss like that, where the idea was the it's supposed to be a Nero fight, where you snatch towards the enemy. Virgil has a teleport. Dante has a teleport, and it is good, but it's not as good as Virgil's because Virgil is like a core part of his move set. Virgil must die in four. Uh, just walk. It's the hardest thing it was for me to learn is just walk everywhere. If you run, you lose your um, concentration meter. Come on. Eh. Eh, damn it. That's all Virgil does, man. He goes slow and kicks everyone's ass. Ow! You don't do that. Do I want to give some of my, my book of weed poems now? That fucking look, that screenshot. I need double the firepower. Virgil always needs double firepower. There's two of him. He's got to be so cool, Virgil. He's got to be so cool and yet so lame. Oh, I hate that attack. I have never once blocked that attack. Really? That's that hit me? I was I was twirling too. I cannot see what's happening here, so. Let's try to get some screen clears in. To me, my shadow man. We must judgment cut. Kill this giant lizard. Okay, you fight that sword. I'll fight this thing.
how limited Dante's taunts are. His taunts are good, it's just they are all variations of the same thing. Come on. Well, that's his thing. Oh, I didn't even see that thing in there. I do not want to fight this. Do not let it get carried away. Right, clone. It's me and you. We need to end this now. This thing needs to die. I hate this thing so much. I hate it. I've never once figured out a way to act like guarantee that you can parry its attacks. Even when I become a whirling hitbox. Not super virgin by beating Dante must die. I thought it was for beating Bloody Palace. Eh. Yeah. My bad. Close the way around. Uh, yeah, I get it, mate. You're just posting random things to try and be funny or draw attention to yourself. Um, that's what children do to get attention. Use those iframes. Play the controller. Uh, yeah, for this game. Stage 46. Ah. Full health, full meter. I'm good. Oh, I forgot. I saw it coming in. See that for me. No, no, you don't get to touch me. by this a lot and I don't know why. Let's get some health back. Damn. Dodge that. I was hoping to break his armor first. Oh, 
just a really annoying thing to fight as Virgil. Don't need to announce that you're leaving, mate. <sighs> so, 49. So, hopefully, this next one is where I get my health back. I'll need to get some health back. Ah, perfect. Yeah, there he is. You see the little beetle out of my health. I would like health now, Mr. Beetle. Thank you. Oh, God, fuck it. Lack of sound cues is now starting to become a real problem. Eh, that's enough. It's enough health. Okay, fight three at once. Let's do this. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit, no, I lost my... Uh, do this. This is why we say you sit in double trigger. Oh. Ooh, I did no damage then. Get some health back. The power of Virgil. Yeah. Lost everything, but it's fine. right there mate no backseat gaming I'm not sure how I can make that prompt any clearer no backseat gaming people come in backseat game right. oh. favorite character to use Nero I'm just using Virgil because he's the new hotness and that's what everyone wants to see he's also the one I practice with so right, anyone yelling at me on Twitter well, it usually is, but sure.
Oh. You've been at 69 viewers for 10 minutes. Oh yeah, I know I have. Oddly enough, people comment on that literally every time it happens. I don't know. But we, I thought we had the conversation about people just posting weird things to try and get attention to themselves. Don't do that. What's, is it weird that I watch your videos when you're uh, while working out? No, man. It's what you want. I don't care. Cal Zero shit approach makes me scared to get banned at any moment. It's really easy, just don't do the one thing you're asked not to do. Or well, the two things. Don't make requests or suggestions, don't backseat game. Which wasn't a rule initially, but I had to make it a rule because the amount of people who were backseat gaming, but really, really badly. Playing like, um, what game is it now? Titanfall. Playing some Titanfall. And a guy, it wasn't even advice that was helpful. It was advice the game itself tells you when you pick a specific Titan. It's like, it's not even like a pro tip. It's just you repeating something that is visible on screen that anyone can see. I see that lightning coming in. Virgil doesn't like this. Field. He's very, very good. Um, his access to three separate nuke attacks uh, is bordering on unfair. Especially when you see he has a separate and a separate other nuke attack like he's in full health pack. That is completely invincible during. And its only requirement is that you stand next to the enemy for three seconds. That's what I get for trying to stand still. needs to end. Do it. Feed the meter. Can you go in and out of SDT at any time? Yes, you can. Um, you can't. You have to have full meter to activate it, but you can un um, deactivate it uh, at any point. So you can use it to just get like one screen clear attack, and then build it back up. So the thing about like using his screen clears with uh, in SDT is that they give you double trigger, which you can use to refill your SDT gauge. So actually, if you like, you're careful enough at managing it, you can basically never run out. But why would I do that? Why would I not use them all at once? It's like, you know, the fact that Virgil has a son means that he canonically shouts thug life and empties the clip. I 
I'll fight you in a sec. Oh, I accidentally dashed directly into that. That's my bad. I'll fight you now. I want to get my health back, and you're really easy to fight. Yeah. I would like to get my health back. Do his sword beam? Yes, you can fire guns at um, beams out of his sword. I get, there's no way I'm going to get four out without sound cues. I tried though. Shall I uh, does World of V give you health directly? You are invincible during it and enemy, any enemy hit or killed by it drops green orbs. Uh, but I think you get some health back when you activate it and it, all it costs is your concentration meter. So It's worth it to be fully invincible and just guaranteed to get some health back. I'm never going to get four of them in a row. Well, I'm just fighting the thing that was cloned from me. Ah, I'll get four one day. I'm not sure if today is that day, but I will try. Not missed. How did I miss three in a row? Oh, I see ya. You know what? No. Ugh. Do it again. All full health. Also, of course I can perfect your and cut off that shit. Let's see if we can show off the uh, the bullshit Virgil can do. There we go. It freezes them in place, look. But you also freeze the visual effects in place. Which means you can do stuff like freeze the mid-attack animation. So let's try and do it again and get into the freeze during the explosion. Zero damage. I took no damage during that. I'm very proud of myself. And I got several triple judgment cuts. Yeah. 
Like, just let me fight those enemies constantly, because they're so fucking fun. rise now. I think air judgment cuts are like Dante's air royal guard where the timing on it is easier. Channel. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. I've actually got a playthrough on playing through Devil May Cry. If that's not like a piss take. I've got a gaming YouTube channel and want to do like fact videos. Control vibration. Um, it's just at Carl Smallwood. If you search that on YouTube, you'll find it. Ooh. So this is the one before Voltic Black Knight. Voltic Black Knight has been like my um, just the Avatar, the, the Sentinel of Bloody Palace for me so far. So I'll come fight you in a set. I just need to beat these, um, these tentacle monsters. Okay, now I've got these. Let's go have a fist fight over here. Eh, do my little dad jog. I'm a dad. That is true. Right, let's go, dude. The fuck you got? Oh... No. You join me in the air now. Ooh! Oh, he got the hit. No! Boo, boo me. Got hit once. Clearly. It was fucking casual. Oh, he wants to still fight. Let's go. Oh, you know you want to. Ah! Now let's go get my health back. That was really bad. Kill this one, and I'll get my uh, concentration back from this one. See, it's, it's all you do. Just walk in a circle around the enemy, and you get your concentration back. Okay, there we go. Pose like a boss. Right, uh... Let's go find me. If I've got to fight fucking Voltic Black Knight, I'm not looking forward to try to fight Voltic Black Knight because he's beating me every time I've done this. But I'm hoping I've got the power of stream on my side. So where's my theme song? You know what? I'm gonna put that theme song I played off earlier. Let's do it, folks. Get this volume turned up a little bit. Ugh! Voltic Black Knight. Let's fucking go. He's beating me every time I try to fight him. This is the best I've done at this, I think. So, Voltic Black Knight with no noise. I have no sound cues. Let's go. Huh. What a casual. Look at it. Right, let's go. I ain't got time to mess around now. 
I ain't got, I ain't got time to mess around with Baltic Black Knight. Oh, and that's where he gets me. He gets me with those. Those follow-up swings. No. You don't get to do that. And this is why Virgil's awesome. She can just freeze you when he's doing this. So he tries to teleport away. He's like, nope. Virgil wants to fight. Virgil would like to know your location. Oh, Vaulted Black Knight. He's so fucking cool. Oh, shit. Oh, no attack. Well. Right, let's do this. Ugh, I need the power. No. Oh, he's not, I'm not gonna get there in time, so fuck it. Please me in place. And then, ah! No. No. Just do not let him move. Oh! Fuck me up again. Shit! No. Help me. Do this. I want health back now. Fuck him up. Oh, guys. Do it for stream. Twirl like a boss. And then judgment not end. No, I want in. No Baltic Black Knight. So I'm going to try and get him to do... There we go. Oh, look at him. He's about to touch the sky. You can So you can freeze lightning. Virgil's that good. He can freeze lightning. Oh, God damn it. I think I've got him, but you know what? They're, they're some famous last words. It's all that attack there. That attack just wins you the game. Unforgivable. It is. I relied way too heavily on um, uh, Rainstorm, but fuck you. I'm Virgil. So, yeah, um... That attack, just the rainstorm. I love doing it on bosses. Heh. <laughs> uh, would love to do a song for you. If you're a musician, you do decent music, let me know. I'm always looking for people to remix the fact theme theme for uh, playthroughs. What these guys got. Ah, I'm never gonna get four. I'm never gonna do four of those. God damn it, stupid lizard. How exactly do you find out about all the weird facts? Uh, I'll read. <laughs> weed power. I thought they were riots then, I shit myself.
rock and metal guy. Yeah, that's fine. That works for me. Uh, just shoot me like a message on Twitter or something. Uh, where is it? I've got a tweet. I do own a Twitter. I, I do tweet occasionally. This is, this is now. There we go. I've got by the backwards and forwards. It's the best move Virgil has access to. It literally breaks the game. Enemies do not know what to do about it. Uh, it freezes them in place. So there's virtually nothing enemies can do about it. Speaking of which, you know what? Transformers Devastation theme, let's go. Transformers Devastation. Theme. OST. I want the OST. The OST is fucking hypers, boss. What we got? Fuck yeah. Right, let's go. You know Virgil listens to this shit. Like, look at it. It freezes them in place. The enemy just does not move. You do so much stuff with it. It's great. I always try and use it on bosses because bosses just don't know how to handle it. Can I do void slash in here? No. Uh, I should stop messing around. These guys are actually... I believe I'm on like some spar of difficulty now. So these enemies will be able to hit me. And do some decent damage. Oh shit! I wasn't looking so now I'm nearly dead. Um... I need to like, end this now. I forgot the cardinal rule of Devil May Cry. Do not let uh, magic users live. I completely got my ass really handed to me then. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. You know what? No. I want health back. I want health back and I want to be invincible. Thank you. Uh, do the move that freezes enemies. Uh, backwards, forwards uh, while holding R1. And then press whatever it is you use to shoot a Mirage Blade. Once you've done that, you're, it uses one pip of Devil Trigger, which to me is completely 100% worth it because the combos you can do while it's in place will virtually always guarantee to give you more than one bit of Devil Trigger. But it is, it, without a doubt, the best thing Virgil has access to. I, will u I use it constantly because it just solves every problem. Ah, uh, ah, oh no. Now, what's the aim of this game to win? I thought it used two bars of DC. I believe it uses one. So let's try it. Yep. One. And it freezes every enemy within its um, area of influence. Ooh, that hit me. Oh no, no, he's doing this thing. No. Nope. I want none of this. Leave me alone.
I want none of that. The instant I see that stuff coming out, it's like, no, thank you. Ah, thank you, health. Really? Did that thing hit me? No. Fight these and a riot. No, thank you. Oh, God damn it. Please give me health. There we go. And then the other one. I do not wish to fight this thing. Man, the, the game now is like telling me I, I'm not allowed to win. It doesn't want me to win. Look at it. Look at what this thing does. It just runs away constantly and is intangible for half the boss fight. Whew. I need to get some fucking health back. God damn it, not one of these things. I don't really want to fight this. There we go. Health. Now. Thank you. Hell no. Perfect. Let's even those odds a little bit, shall we? So that feels a bit more doable. Uh, Fury's of the gimmick enemies, yeah. They're super annoying, and I know that there's um, a boss fight against three of them coming up as my challenge room for 70, because that's the one where, other than Baltic Black Knight, always ends my run of Bloody Palace. So I'm going to use that, the, the room, the screen player thing three times in a row. I do not want to fight that thing. Whatever's next needs to die very quickly so I can uh, screen clear against the riots. Whew. What are you playing on? I am playing on... Um, PS4. That'll do. Right, I do not want to fight these riots, but fuck it. Right. I don't want to fight you. The fact they should just know that when they spawn and I do that, that's not a good enemy type. Uh, that's not a good enemy type. When I see them and my literal first instinct is like, no. Not today. Not on my watch. Right. What can they possibly send after me after that? Ah, I'm never going to land for them. I'm going to keep trying though. Oh, 
hilarious. That's Virgil. That's how much effort it requires for Virgil to win. I just need to get rid of the flying enemies. PS4 have turbo mode. No, that's only in the, uh, in the PS5 special edition, that's all that. seen I've been dying one hit. Night one. Virgil like talks his enemies. It's like his brother. Ah fuck it. No! How dare you? You could have all died easily, but no. You could have died a lot easier than you would. You made this so much more difficult than it needs to be. Why this thing just took so much help? I forget what the enemy is at 80. I think it's that weird. Um, uh, lady. I'm not sure how Virgil's gonna do against that enemy. Virgil, we need to get the fuck out of here. Now like we need to end this now. Really? Fuck it. This one's still alive. Uh. What beer are you drinking today? It's Desperados. Sir. 
Virgil. Just end this. Okay, so my uh, Mirage Blade can do fighting for a moment. Eight judgment cuts in a row, that'll be. I'm not a big fan of the nobodies. They just take way too much damage and they can't really be comboed that well. Now, they're not too bad on their own, but they have this nasty habit of just soaking up way more damage than you'd expect. I always feel like I'm done fighting them like a good uh, 20, 30 seconds after they're done. How much time have we spent playing as Virgil? Um, I got to like mission 8 with him, and then I've took like 3 or 4 runs at Bloody Palace. Ah, I'm never gonna land 4. Damn it. I'll keep practicing. I'll keep practicing to land 4. When the enemy lands like the stray hit, that takes like half a health off. It's like, damn it. Oh, so I need to get some health back. For oh shit! Oh god! I accidentally thought I'd just gone straight into the next boss. No, so take out the magic users first. Thank you. How do magic users like it when I just do bullshit projectiles that hit everything on screen? Seventy-eight. So I've got full health, full meter. And it should put me in good stead for the next boss, as long as there's nothing too difficult here. Oh, it's one of these guys. These guys are super fun. So I do say that they do hurt quite a bit on this uh, damage map. So I might need to 
do some help, mate. Do my uh, my ghost bro. Thank you, ghost bro. Oh, you can go away now. Just need to kill this thing. Kill the Judeca. Judeca's once he's dead, I can fight the guy. Like, he's just got a sword. He thinks he's cool. Why he's gonna do that in it? Does anybody really like enemies that just constantly run away? That's just not fun. Right, let's fight this thing now, please. Perfect. Now I can have a nice one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Right, let's go. One on one. Should I go for the? Uh, should I be a dick and get the uh, the counter with the? Should I get the V counter. There we go. Hello, uh, channel called Fat Fiend. Yeah, that's my channel. Uh, the gaming one is linked in the videos and whatever. Is that gonna be full health. Yeah, tentacles. Let's go on my shit up. Oh, clearly I'm saving this for the next fight. Oh, I'm saving this one for the next fucking one. Wasting my time. Do you have the EX provocation? Show me your uh, yes. Just you might as well watch this, because it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, look at it. This means as well that Virgil canonically at what Oh look at it, he wants to join in. Embarrassed by his own That's fucking tough. stand. And of course, because it's Virgil, you can just frame judgment cut it. Because of course you can. Why would you not be able to just frame judgment cut that shit? Right, let's go kill the final boss. Nah, I'm kidding. Whatever this thing is though, it's dead. I don't like the Janemba chicken. The Janemba chicken, I do not like. Oh, and it's immediately just getting ready. Janemba chicken now, we fight now. No. No, you teleport away. No. You hide. Ugh. I don't care. Just because. Because fuck you. I do all that. Ah, oh, just teleport. Uh, why? Why is Virgil so fucking OP?
I like how while it was happening, my uh, clone was also doing um, judgment cuts. I'm not going to die now. You don't get to make that choice. There we go. You don't get to make the choice whether we die or not. You die! Ah! Fuck you! Why is Virgil so fucking powerful? Look at this! Look at what he does! When you're just a giant hitbox, what do you do? Have mercy on my soul. I don't think you get to make that choice and neither do I. So I'm pretty sure I took damage during that, but it doesn't matter because he's Virgil. I don't use Spotify. Well, my Spotify is completely free, so... Uh, the podcast exists as an excuse to pay a friend of mine money to edit the podcast. I'm a nice guy like that sometimes. See, now I can begin. Now Virgil's getting into it. Now he's motivated. So now the enemies are starting to get double trigger as well. Boom. Let's have some fun. DT gives you stat buffs. Yeah, you can use your Sin Devil Trigger and your Doppelganger at the same time, and you're basically unstoppable. getting stunned up by these guys. Uh, sometimes I just fuck up and it's uh, not fun. No, I know you're hurting me, but fuck it, I want to win. I was in Paris that I got hit multiple times. Please don't be a riot. Please don't be a riot. Oh, it's just a regular one. Oh, no, still not. Stop this. Stop this. Virgil does not like being still not. You will feel this devil's power. Why? Why do they do so much damage? Oh my god, he just came out of nowhere! God damn it! Sound cues for fuck you! Minimum health now. Do not fuck it. He's gonna kill me. I can see it. I can see an attack moving behind that's gonna kill me now. Alright, I need health back now. V, please. Please. The safety and security of just a little bit of health, thank you. Just the drop, that's all I need. A 
then again, just get four health. Uh, are you from Sheffield? Uh, I am, yes. I'm not from here, but I live here. I went to university here and just never left. Okay, I feel a little bit more secure now. Oh no, not these fucking things. Okay, so Mr. Ghost, we need to take care of this right now. We need to kill all these flying things. Everything that flies dies. That's my motto. If it flies, it dies. I'll take that. You get down to Earth. Like, look at how much damage this thing. Just die! I am on your ass. It's clear this thing's not going to win. Sheffield crowds just hit different. Yeah, it's because we're all depressed. And I've not noticed that as well. Um, when you're on like S rank, Virgil's taunt is where he just does an incredibly fast um, uh, swipe of his sword. I'm guessing you can also judgment cut that as well. Now, this is a fucking bullshit room. Looking at this collection of enemies, I can already see it's just like, no. Just, I'm judgment cutting. I'm just judgment cutting. I'm just judgment cutting. I don't care. Everything needs to die now. Oh god, that's gonna hit. I can see it. I can see it hit. No, nope. teleport away, Virgil. Do not let it hit you. Do not let it see weakness. Oh my, what is this thing doing? Look at it. Just never stop slashing. Did not want to die. Oh, this is the first I've done with Virgil. Oh. I genuinely for a second thought he was doing it on his middle finger. Like he's just going <laughs> Which I would infinitely respect, but that's not Virgil. Virgil's not about that life. Right, let's go Samway theme. Oh, you know. If you know, you know. Ooh. Get 
Oh, slash him, freeze him in time. Oh. Right, let's go. Let's do this. Go on, what you got? Hmm. Oh yeah, he's still got Nero's arm. I forgot about that. Okay, so I greatly misunderestimated uh, my ability to counter the attack he was about to do. Which is my bad. So I guess I should just get some of my uh, concentration back. And just get my health back. Because Virgil just has the ability to do that whenever he wants. Like, Virgil just whenever he wants can get half his health back. Oh yeah, the guy's handing out a bunch of gifts up. That's appreciated, but not necessary. Just, you can support the channel by watching. Oh no, Virgil gets Doppelganger and Sin Devil Trigger, and they can be used in tandem uh, or on their own. It's a uh, dealer's choice. Yeah, riots! Who doesn't love fighting riots? Can't wait to fight these on Dante Must Die difficulty. With Dante Must Die. Um, di Speaking of Doppelganger, uh, Doppelganger, I really need your help on this one. I'm going to need some uh, absolute horse shit for you to help me win right now. I need him to just keep doing judgment cuts constantly. Which is what I love about Doppelganger, because it only ever fights with Yamato, so you can do judgment cuts after every single one of your attacks by the holding triangle. Yeah, I don't care if I'm using all my meter. I, I want these things dead. I don't care how much damage I have to do. Empty the clip. The Virgil way. I need you to die. I just Stop attacking. Look at that, they just never stop. They're so they're so threatening. At least I'm only fighting two. Fighting three in Daniel's Dymo would just be nightmarish. Especially after like all this. Oh my god, give me a chance! The fuck are you- th where are you hiding? I thought Vir fighting Virgil was a ball ache. Look at this amount of teleporting. That's one. Ah, I just never stopped twirling. Oh god, that damage. And that's why no one likes riots. Yep, and then they can just attack through um, uh, your other attacks. 
Because enemies with random amounts of super armor are super fun. Who doesn't like enemies that can just randomly um, armor through your attacks? And hit for 30% um, health bar. Whew! Don't you just love enemies that run away? I don't. Ugh. And then the only thing is there are like three enemy types in this game that just run away. Thankfully I can get on the health back here. They know. They know that you don't want to deal with that shit. So I need health for the next boss fight. So. And what they're going to spawn in next. Of course, I think next is... Uh, is it Cerberus next? I, I don't much fancy fighting Cerberus, but I'm going to give him a go. Right. Uh, let's go kick Cerberus' ass. I'm going to give it a go. Let's do this. The Autobots theme. Uh, the song a remix of is Two Finger Johnny by um, Kevin MacLeod. Oh my god, opening, the opening salvo is just empty in the clip. That's a Cerberus. What have you got, lad? I'm just going to experiment. Oh, that's a really bad idea. So do not try and teleport through Cerberus. Got it. Well, he seems he's just a massive hitbox type character. Cerberus should be. Should. Might be in the operative word here. Not too difficult once I've got him locked in place. There we go. So you can just freeze me in place. This is what I want. So get yourself. Cerberus, I'm, you know I want you to back up. Do we get my health back right now? Let's just get some health back and try that again, shall we? It's, the secret to beating Cerberus is just do not give him a chance to move. Like, do not give him a chance. No, I'm not going to feel your thunder. I dodged. Right, this is not a. Uh... Oh, I forgot that he just just sends out the wave. So, Cerberus might beat me. Your flesh will freeze. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that, Cerberus. I don't doubt that my flesh will freeze when you start, like, busting out that attack. Yep. <sighs> I love giant big attacks that do mad amounts of damage and hit everywhere on screen. Oh, I tried. I, I give it my big try.